Things just keep getting worse with Disney and physical media. The news broke the other day that Disney are partnering with Sony for Sony to handle the entire production side of their physical media business. There was a report on the digital bits that goes into what this means. And basically, in a nutshell, Sony are going to be handling the manufacturing, the distribution and the promotion of all of Disney's DVDs, Blu-rays, 4Ks, going forward. I think this is very bad news for a number of reasons. Before I get into that, I want to address something that I've seen from some people saying that this is actually good news. Some people have misunderstood this news, thinking that Sony are going to have some sort of control over film licenses and the creative aspect of making these physical discs. Because as you may know, Disney is sitting on an absolute mountain of great films, many which have already had 4K restorations, that they are not releasing on physical media. We know this because Disney is fully invested in their streaming business. Disney Plus is where they want to be going forward into the future, and discs are just not really part of that equation. So yes, some people think that this new deal with Sony is going to mean we're going to see the Disney vaults opening up and we're going to see lots of great films finally getting some good physical media releases. I would absolutely love for this to be the case, but that is simply not what is going on here. I should note that this is only in the United States and Canada at this point, but everywhere else in the world, Disney is already starting to decrease its operations. We saw in Australia last year, Disney announced that they're no longer going to be releasing Blu-rays and DVDs and 4Ks. And if I'm being realistic, not just negative, I can see that happening here in the UK and in Europe as well. Almost as soon as this news broke earlier this week, Disney confirmed that they were stopping their Disney Movie Club later this year. The Disney Movie Club was something that they did in in the US where they would distribute discs direct to consumer and many of these would be films that would not get wider releases so you could only get these discs through the Disney Movie Club. It's clear that the main driving factor in this decision for Disney and Sony is a financial one. Disney is looking to cut costs wherever they can. They don't see a future in physical media. So it makes sense for them to move this production out of house and have it done by a third party. Now, some people are looking for a silver lining to this news, a positive aspect. They think that this means that by outsourcing the production side of things, Disney can increase the number of titles that they release on physical media. It's a very nice thought, but if Disney wanted to do that, they would have been doing it anyway. They don't need to outsource all of this to increase the number of titles they would release on physical media. To me, this news signals that they are just winding things down. By outsourcing it to Sony, they can keep releasing their major titles on disc, but over time they will just, you know, decrease, 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 until eventually there might be no physical media releases from Disney at all, and you'll have to go to Disney Plus to watch their films. So this is very bad news, and let's just keep our fingers crossed that other companies do not follow suit. It is such a crying shame that Disney has so many great films in their catalogue now because of the companies they've acquired, such as 20th Century Fox. They are sitting on an absolute gold mine of films, some of which, like I mentioned, have already had some great restorations. And the thing is, they're doing absolutely nothing with these films. They could, at the very least, be licensing these out to some of the boutique Blu-ray labels, to start doing some great releases of these films and keep them in circulation. They have so many titles that, let's face it, would not be very popular amongst the masses, but these are films that would do very well in the kind of boutique Blu-ray space. The kind of films that if they just whack them on Disney+, Plus, no one is going to watch them, no one's going to even be able to find them because they will be rotting in a corner of their streaming platform. All of this is following on the trend that Disney seemingly do not see a future in physical media. We even see it with some new releases now that are getting Blu-ray releases only, when really they definitely could justify a 4K release. A prime example of this would be Poor Things, the brand new film which is winning awards already. It's a great film, I saw it at the cinema. It's visually stunning, such a beautiful film to look at and would look great on a 4K disc. And it is such a shame that this is seemingly not going to happen. I'm sure it will look fine on Blu-ray, 
but you know, a 4K disc in this day and age of a major film that's winning awards just seems like it should be happening and it sadly is not. So what can we do about this news going forward? Well, not really much at all. We can just sit and wait and hope that Disney changes its mind on at least licensing films out to other labels. In an ideal world, Disney would start their own label for collectors, where they would start releasing some of these classics out of the vault and give them some great releases. Sadly, this will likely never happen because of the way that Disney is structured. All of these decisions, you know, they have to go up to superiors, they have to get signed off and signed off. So it would be very hard to make any new changes if you were working at Disney. And this comes at a time when Disney is sort of struggling in their movie department. You know, last year was a financial failure for Disney. I think they lost about a billion dollars on their major releases just not doing very well. So it seems like Disney might be panicking somewhat and let's be honest, physical media is probably not even an afterthought. It's like an after, after, after thought. So what I would recommend to you now is if there are any films in the Disney catalog or the Fox catalog that are already out on Blu-ray, I would say go and try and get those now. You know, store them like squirrels storing nuts for winter because there very well could come a point when you won't be able to get those on disc anymore. Sorry, I know not a very cheery video, but let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you care much about this news? I mean, I hope you do if you're a collector of films. Even if you're not interested in like mainstream Disney stuff, they have so many great films in their back catalogue that I have to imagine there would be something there for everyone to enjoy. Stay around on the channel and watch the video that's presented on screen right now for some great film recommendations from me. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.